Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I was just walking around my hotel room and I was taking notice of some things. And one of the things that stuck out at me, and most people would probably walk right by it, which is how an electrical fire probably would happen. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what I'm talking about. All right, this is a beautiful hotel room here at the Royal Sinista in Washington, D.C. And let me tell you, I'm looking at some of these fixtures and I was looking at this design, right? Take a look at this design for these things. It's a little odd, pretty modern. Um, look at the sticker. Do you see it? It says maximum 13 watt CFL. Why does that stick out? Well, it's a traditional socket. You see that? It's a regular light socket. And what are the odds that somebody would screw in a regular type of bulb? And one of the lowest type of bulbs that I can think of is 40 watt. That's one of the lowest type of standard bulbs. So mind you, it's in a hotel, it's in a semi-contained environment, but look, they've already installed bulbs that are not according to the socket rating. I mean, it doesn't draw that much current because it's LED, but what are the odds that a standard incandescent bulb could be screwed into this type of fixture? If you take a look at the wiring, let me show you based on the diameter of my finger, that's gotta be like 24 gauge wiring. That's, that is actually, there's, there should be three conductors in there. Um, there might only be two, but there should be three. And that is tiny absolutely tiny so that's like 24 gauge at 120 volts and they say the maximum that you can run through it is 13 watts on a CFL type this is a dangerous fixture so guys what I'm just trying to point out is this this isn't just in hotels okay this is also in your own house and while most lighting fixtures are becoming uh, LED embedded, so you can't even screw a bulb into modern day lighting fixtures, there are still many of them out there. And you got to read those stickers because if you put a fixture like that in your house, there is an extremely high chance that somebody's going to screw in an incandescent bulb. Incandescent bulbs at the lowest is 40 watts. Most traditional is 60 watts. And then you have 100 watts which is, you know, really bright. But I mean, people like using 100 watt bulbs. So read your fixtures and read the ratings because there's a very good chance that you could have something like that in your house right now. And you might have the wrong type of bulb screwed into the socket. And if you do, it is a fire hazard because the gauge of that wiring, if it is like 24 gauge wiring, that is way too tiny for a standard bulb socket. And that's why they say only 13 watts for CFL because CFL, they have a surge inrush current when they flick on, but then it kind of levels out. And most CFLs are gonna be about, what, um, 10 to 15 watts. So even then, 15 watts for a CFL, they say the highest you should go is 13 watts. That's tiny. It's a good thing to have LED bulbs in there. I get it, energy saving and whatnot. But read your fixtures at home because if you have any type of fixtures that have that really thin gauge wiring, the chance is that you have the ability to screw in a bulb that will overrate that cord. Anyway, that's my tip for today. Thanks for watching.